Assalamu alaikum and hi. Today, I'm going to present about the research on performance geotextile based low sand filter in removing total coli for drinking water treatment using system dynamics modeling. Throughout this presentation, I'm going to brief some introduction, materials and methods, including results and discussion as well as the conclusion. River water is generally used raw as drinking water and has complex characteristics. As it undergoes a few treatment processes for drinking purpose, it is important to monitor the pollutant concentrations such as turbidity, total nitrogen, and total phosphorus, which can affect the performance of smooth jet layer during the treatment. Basically, this research considers the performance of slow sand filter with geotextile membrane using a system dynamic model in removing pollutant in Surabaya, Indonesia. The study area is located at the downstream of Brantas River as the part of Surabaya River in Surabaya, Indonesia which supply raw water for two water treatment plants in Surabaya cities. The problem is the processed water does not meet drinking water quality standards, especially the biological parameters. The sample collection and experimental setup is when the water sample taken from the Ngagal 1 WTP Surabaya River. Water entering through the slow sand filter that come from roughing filter unit outlet. This slow sand filter equipped with geotextile media placed on the sand media. Acclimation is carried out for 30 days before the treatment process and the water sample analysis was carried out at the Department of Environmental Engineering ITS Surabaya. Model and formulation used in this research is by using model parameters which are total coli, turbidity, nutrients, and dissolved oxygen. So on the left side is the figure of the causal loop which variables that interact with one another affect one another by subsystem models. Next for subsystem model, there are three subsystem models being used which is total coli model, turbidity model, and smooth jet model. Next for validation model, Validation test is the output model validation. This test is performed by using a value from output of simulation model with the output of the actual slow sand filter system in the form of analysis result from laboratory experiments by black box method. Now, let's move to result and discussion. Let's look into the total coli model. Total coli in raw water levels has a value of 1,744 mpm per 100 ml to 42,175 mpm per 100 ml. The percentage of total coli removal is in between 79.76% to 99.46%. At the lowest percentage, the smooth layer has not been maximized while on days 6 to 14, it's able to eliminate 99.46% of total coli. The presence of C, N, and P also affect the total coli value. Optimal condition is when the average level of C, N, P ratio is 37.5 to 0 0.2 to 1. At the low C, N ratio, which is high nitrogen, it inhibits bacterial proliferation, while high um, C, N ratio, which is low nitrogen, it slows down degradation. Next, the turbidity model. Stability values decrease due to physical and biological processes in slow sand filter. The physical processes done by mechanical filtering using grains or sand media, which is the particle settle on the surface of sand media, which has smaller grain size than particles causing turbidity. The geotextile media helps to maintain the optimal of performance of slow sand filter unit which is the slime metric form can fill spaces between the textile fibers on the surface of the sand filter. The third one is the smooth shot model. The smooth shot model consists of alluvial sludge, organic waste, bacteria, agar, and biological active compounds. The action is when it eliminates organic materials and change the synthetic organic compounds of pathogenic bacteria parasitic protozoa and suspended solids. The formation of layer is within a few hours or up to weeks depending on type of bacteria and microorganisms that survive. The growth phase include the four phases which is the initial phase, the logarithmic or exponential phase, 
the stationary phase and the dead phase of the bacteria. The concentration of carbon, nitrogen and phosphorus affect the growth rate of microorganism which is the CMP ratio is 37.5 to 0.2 to 1. Amount of carbon from COD fluctuating every day and the P concentration is higher than nitrogen concentration. This one is the scenario model. Scenario model is identified to obtain the best condition of the slow sand filter system with zero coli effluent. The scenario is made based on previous model, which are changes in dissolved oxygen concentration, geotextile thickness, and changes in C and NP. But changes in dissolved oxygen does not significantly affect the simultaneous result. Table show the previous record of ratio of C and NP. The scenario model of the C and NP is um, like the figure on the right shows the trial and error simulation models values for C and NP. It is found that the best condition for slow sand filter unit system is on day 8 to 12. During this period, total amount of coli effluent is zero and this condition is achieved when the value of C is 85 mg per liter, nitrogen is 5.59 mg per liter and P is 1.25 mg per liter respectively. And this model is variable. Physical process in C and P scenario take place during the beginning of source and filter operation. Pore medium of the smallest media is 20 micrometer. Medium cannot filter collider particles which have diameter of less than 1 micrometer or bacteria up to 50 micrometer in length. At this point, reduction reach more than 85%. For chemical process, electrostatic force take place. Sand media, which is negative charge, and colloidal positive charge have attractive force and attach. So colloidal particles that negatively charge, for example bacteria, stick to sand media that had been positively charged. That is why colli effluent did not reach zero at the day of 1 to 6. Next one is the biological process. It dominates moderate layer form which is rich in mucopolysaccharides produced by in situ microorganism and dead alga. So it serves a place for bacteria growth on top of the sand and it helps slow down the sand filter performance. Because the layer produce high population densities which enable them to use nutrient efficiently and become more resistant to environmental changes. The best condition showed on the 7 day to 12 days which zero coli effluent when the layer is ripe. This condition achieved when optimum nutrients is finally met. However, after 12 days, the amount of coli increased back due to immature schmutzjet layer. The next scenario model is the geotextile scenario. The thickness of geotextile use is basically 6 cm and it is varies from the range 0 to 9 cm. But to find the best performance, trial and error simulation is made as next figure. And finally, the best condition is found at 9 cm. It reached 100% total coli removal from 98.46%. It proved that the use of geotextile can speed up system in removing total coli and this uh, scenario cannot be reversed. Geotextile scenario also have physical and biological process. Physical process happen when it filtering particles carried by raw water that cause stability known as blocking process and fiber acts as filter media. For biological process, geotextile affects the biological processes where different forms of growing media affect the shape of the resulting biofilm layer. Biofilm matrices in smooth jet layer form irregularly and tend to fill cavities between sand media. Why? Biofilm matrices in geotextile media form in cavities between the geotextile fibers and flat like plate. As conclusion, simulation result of SSF system model shows its best behavior when C and NP values are 85 mg per liter, 5.59 mg per liter and 1.25 mg per liter respectively. While the geotextile thickness is 9 cm and reach 100% total color removal. This engineering model with geotextile layer scenario shows that this layer is able to accelerate total cola removal in the slow sand filter system. And this kind of technology should be applied for future use in treatment water. From me, Siti Nuhuda binti Abdullah, thank you.
and have a nice day.